guys so recently there are lots of companies that come out with some um, makeup brushes cleaning devices and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you had heard of um, both good and bad things about the Sigma glove and last week I just got myself another really similar product which is called um, brush egg so today in this video, I'm going to do a little comparison between these two products based on my personal experience on um, using them to clean my makeup brushes. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. To start this video, I'm going to give you some basic information about these two products. Um, the Sigma Glove retails for 35 US dollars without shipping and on their official website they don't have the pink one anymore they only have um, a black one for this particular version because they also released an upgraded version for the glove as well as another like normal flat uh, matte version for this kind of tool for the brush egg it retails for 10 yet yeah, 10 US dollars without shipping and they also had like multiple colors like black and then mint green and pink and yellow I think I'm not sure so this is the close-up for the Sigma glove as you can see there are lots of um, different textures on top um, the glove is actually two-sided and this side is for your face brushes and then the other side is for your um, eyeshadow brushes so I'm going to t uh, tell you um, the different sections. This is the wash part and then here it's rinse and then the little dots. It's the um, refined section. And here you can use it to like squeeze out the water from your brushes. And then the eyeshadow brushes side. This is the wash part. And then here it's rinse, and then here it's refine, and then here to squeeze out the water. So this is the close-up for the brush egg. As you can see, it's um, much smaller than the Sigma glove. And for the textures, it only had like two parts, like the dot part, and then the wedges part, and then there's like a little hole for you to put your fingers inside to hold it and the other side basically is like a smooth side and then the name brush egg so you just use this side to clean your makeup brushes but I have to say that the texture on the um, brush egg is way more raised and defined than the um, Sigma glove can you see that? Yeah. So now I'm going to include a little clip to show you how I actually use these two products to clean my makeup brushes and then I'm going to compare them and tell you um, which one I think is better. For this demo, I'm using the Beauty Blender Solid Soap to clean my brushes. Um, I use it all the time and I like it a lot. So I recommend you to go get it and once you tried it, you'll be amazed how well it cleans all your makeup brushes. It's amazing and so as you can see here I'm cleaning my powder brush on the Sigma glove um, I just simply swirl the brush on the different textures on the glove um, just keep swirling on the wash part and then when I feel like it's kind of clean I'll just move forward to the rinse area to rinse all the bubbles and dirt out and from watching the clip, I just realized how much water that I waste um, just to clean the glove itself. Can you see that? And after the first cleaning, I feel like there's still some powder pigment or like dirt inside the brush. So I'm cleaning it for the second time. And then I do say that it's kind of difficult for me to use the thumb area to squeeze all the water out. I think it's because the glove is a bit too big for me. Um, you'll be able to see it in a few seconds, like here.
So here, as I suggested, I'm using the back of the glove to clean the eyeshadow brush. I just keep swirling the brush on the textures again to clean it. And I don't know if you notice, I look a bit clumsy when I'm using the back of the glove because um, first, the glove doesn't fit, and second, it's not that easy to turn your hand like that and clean the brush at, and then get the water at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? But I believe the um, upgraded version for the Sigma glove would help about this because um, for the upgraded version, it has two thumb areas. So you just like turn the glove around and you'll be able to do both um, on the right side of your hand. But again, the brush doesn't look clean at all. It still looks a bit brownish. And after I like feel the bristles, I decided to, um, you know, put the glove back on and wash it for the second time. Just keep swirling again, over and over again. It's a bit frustrative sometimes when I have to wash it, like you know, again because. Um, What's the point in getting a tool if it doesn't help with my cleaning process? I'm just squeezing the water out and the brush looks much cleaner like after the second wash. Um, to have a fair comparison between um, the two products, I'll be cleaning um, a face brush and also an eyeshadow brush um, for the brush exam. I just use a um, swirl motion and also an up and down motion to clean the brush. And as you can see here, the brown pigments just come out immediately. I just like, you know, rub, 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 and then swirl, swirl, swirl. And then after that, I'll just rinse everything out. And I just have to clean it for one time, just one time, and the brush is super clean. And you'll be able to see it in a few seconds again. Look, how clean is that? And then since I want to try out the dotty area, I'm cleaning an eyebrow brush here. And a brown thing just like came out. I think the brush egg just speed up the whole cleaning process so much. And you can see it's clean already. There's no more like brownness uh, left on the bristles. And then I want to do one more test on the brush egg, so I'm cleaning another eyeshadow brush to make sure if the egg is really good. Um, on the brush, there's like not only eyeshadow but also some mascara, which I got it on by accident. I just keep swirling and like you know moving it up and down, basically just rubbing it against the um, textures. And I rinsed it and also squeezed the water out. And then I'm sure you can see it yourself. It's clean, it's white, and it's dry. So after trying the two products out, I have to say that personally, I prefer using the brush egg. Yep, it's the brush egg. Um, I think one of the main reasons is that I have really small hands. So when I'm using the Sigma glove, um, it's not that easy for me because, you know, it makes everything so clumsy because it doesn't fit. And it's not that convenient for me either because, um, as you can tell from the clip, I'm using um, a soap bar to clean my makeup brushes. So with the glove on, I can't really hold it um, properly. And I like to feel the brushes like with my own fingers and hand, but with the glove on, um, I can't really do that either. I can't really check if the uh, brushes are really clean or really dry. Mm. But when I'm using the um, brush egg, because it's really small, you can just like you know put it on your fingers, and I still have the palm of my hand to um, 
hold the uh, soap bar and I still have the rest of my fingers to feel the uh, makeup brushes to see if they're really clean or dry. The most important thing is that how well they clean. Um, for me, the brush it greens again because um, even though they're both made out of plastic like silicon, this is harder than the um, Sigma glove. You know, it's really soft. And the textures here, um, I prefer this one because it's more raised and defined as I mentioned earlier. And so I think um, it gets to the brushes like more easily and that's why it cleans better. Um, for me, from my experience, um, sometimes I have to clean a one single makeup brush two or three times to get everything out like using this but with this um like i think maximum two times if you want it like really really clean so if you're thinking like whether you should get like a glove or an egg oh yeah and it's much cheaper as well it's only ten dollars and this is $35 so so this is the end of my video if you like it please give me a thumb up and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um, I'll see you next time bye bye